Devo versus D Dog. Devo, one of the better uh, SoCal Nest players. Recently been doing really well online these days, I've noticed. So I'm looking forward to this. And D Dog, I've definitely seen him quite a few times already in MSM online in these uh, high top eight spots. So uh, this should be a good match. We we haven't yeah. seen this matchup quite a bit online between other like Ness and Steve players too. So I want to see mm -hmm. what these two guys do uh, to bring their personal style into uh, this matchup. Yeah, you don't see them a lot, but definitely it's their characters that you're definitely getting used to at some point, at one point or another. In any case, welcome. Yes, we're running right into it, and D Dog is going straight up with the combos, going for the murder. Anvil trying to get the spike very early on. This is something that a lot of Steve's or uh, Minecraft mains tend to do a lot, like try, try to overwhelm their opponents. And I can tell that D Dog is doing phenomenally at it, and he feels confident enough to go for it, even though Ness tends to have a relatively decent recovery and it's actually quite uh, risky to challenge it if you get stuck in that PK rocket but again D-Dog doing a phenomenal job trying to catch the read but instead gets punished with a good back air back throw sorry not enough to kill though really missing that PK thunder to chase for but yeah that's a really good point you made about him uh, going aggressive and immediately trying to set up the spike. If you can just get that spike really early, force him to use our double jump, even if it's a character like Ness, you can get some really good stocks. But that roll back, dash up, roll back, actually punishing the down smash really well with the back throw. Nice stuff from Devo. Luckily for him, it's a wooden F smash, so he can live a little bit longer. Yeah, good, good contest there, trying to... Uh avoid the fatal damage that he was looking for. But then again, the materials are piling up. He's got some good resources and just enough, just in time gets the anvil to, fun, uh, to finish off that stock. Very aggressive. It's something that you don't see a lot in Steve's. You're a little bit more used to uh, like hiding behind walls, gathering materials. You know, Minecraft is all about different play styles. I've had a server with some friends of mine and they're always rushing for netherite and all the end game materials. And D-Dog is striking me off as uh, these kinds of players that just go for it and try to get as much done as soon as possible instead of going for resources and safe options. He's just going for all of these lethal options to take the stock as soon as possible. And it's working, but it's getting retaliated pretty effectively by nice. Dibo here with its insane forward air. Great, great positioning on the aerials. Actually, Dibo has really impressed me so far with how he's choosing to deal with Minecart. He's not really getting hit by that move that often. There's the grab, though. And you oh, it. nice. <laughs> I know, I jinxed it definitely. But Devo actually installed his uh, mash to avoid getting spiked there, even though he got sent in the card. Still very good uh, anti minecart play, even for smashing it. Wow, look like he can even reflect the minecart a few times already. Right. Very yeah, nice stuff. Yeah, D Dog definitely needs to step it up. He is doing phenomenal Ooh. when it comes to taking stocks like this. He gets it once again. Anvil, for now at least, being the MVP of its toolkit, doing massive amounts of damage. And with this string, almost getting up to 40%. Good conversion, however, unable to get any longer, any further than that. He needs it because he he doesn't have the best materials just yet. He does. He's running a little low on iron and the, the building blocks are, yeah, they're there, but still, they will doing a phenomenal job when it comes to the aerial play. And if he gets a good punish here, he might be able to make even more out of this last stock on both of them, even though the percentage is clearly on Debo's side. Yeah, something I'm noticing from d Dog, he's not really prioritizing just getting the diamond, really. He's been getting a lot of good strong hits, but since it's not the, you know, super strong diamond, Devil's able to live way longer than he should, I think. I think if maybe d Dog hang back just a little bit longer and farm that really strong diamond. I, oh, I heard it just now. This could definitely be good for him. <laughs> the crafting table is still on the other side of the stage. Isn't really uh, having a chance to pull it out, but he has the stage control. There's the diamond. Devil's got to be very careful now. Oh. Weighing him out here. Oh, this is so scary. Wow, the block actually keeping him alive a little bit longer. Very scary situation. Oh. All right, yeah, right next to the crab needs, Yeah, he just needs to pay attention oh. to those kinds of interactions back here. And those forward airs can be extremely nice. dangerous. But yeah, again, yeah. the anvil is going to be doing it and taking it once again. Actually, every single stock was taken with an anvil. Definitely one of uh, D Doc's preferred weapons of choice, and it's paying off quite effectively. Oh, Debo. Okay, sorry. That's Debo, yeah. 
Hey, I, 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 I yo, yo, chill, dude. chill, chill, chill. <laughs> hey, man. No, listen, dude. it's fine. I, I appreciate that because, hey, we don't know we don't know all the, the fighters. And whenever Chad comes up, coming at, at, yeah. at a clutch to tell us or give us information that we don't know, it's always appreciated. Thank you, Chad. We appreciate every single bit of information that you guys can provide. And we as well will try to reciprocate with all the information that we can provide during the match. Again, going to game number two. Let's see if they make any changes in the stage. It wouldn't surprise me if they don't. Yeah, we're sticking back to Pokemon and Stadium. Very neutral, very good for both of them. And it, it's basically, it, it goes down to neutral. Again, he's trying to go for those cheeky kills with early percents. Something that Steve is very fond of. And I think it can pay off if he, if he manages to pull it off effectively. Definitely, definitely. And uh, even the stage, going back to stage choices, one of Ness's best stages to begin with, really good at using the PK fire off of the platforms. You'll see that quite a bit if uh, Lebo gets a chance to do that. But already off the bat, D-Dog's aggressive playstyle is working a little bit better than the first game. So I wonder if uh, Devo's feeling a little bit more overwhelmed. He's definitely gonna have to try to get in a little bit more than he has. I feel like he's definitely playing on the defensive, like trying his best to wall out Steve, interrupt him when he's trying to approach. But maybe it's going to take him, like, setting up an edge guard, really going deep off stage for him to get this first stock. Yeah, I, I can agree with you. Uh, Debo is playing a little bit more um, cautious when it comes to getting closer. And, and D Dog, I think he's actually pulling on the brakes, almost getting the kill without block, actually stopping him from getting Ooh. it. But he gets it without up smash very well. Anti air catching Ness. You know he's going to be up there trying to catch you, but instead gets caught in return. That back throw is not going to be it, even though it was really close. And the car trying to come out clutch to recover safely. Now, with golden weapons he will be uh upping up the speed of his attacks but he finds a nair in return we know that ness's nairs actually all of their uh ness's aerials are really really good he gets a conversion with that pk fire and even though he misses the spike he's still got some good damage on his side and things are looking pretty even at least in this second stock definitely but you always gotta be cautious of that diamond all it takes is one good good strong hit even if smash can kill incredibly early i've seen it kill like 60% at the edge, even yeah. on heavy characters, so. You know, continue to uh, play safe here. Liking the aerials just to continue to wall out Steve. And catch the land here. He's going to mix it up with the blocks. Really nice timing change up there, but Devil still gets the grab. Oh, yeah, very Nebo. effective. Yeah, very oh, effective nice. when it comes to First catching attack. those landings and punishing very, very well, too. He was ready for that back throw, and we know that Ness is always fishing for those. He wants to catch you un un unprepared for that back throw because it's going to take stocks if you're close enough to the to the ledge. He is very good at those, and that the pressure that D-Dog is putting out is definitely helping, me out, helping him out. He does need better materials. That TNT placement is probably going to become oh. a real good factor but gets absorbed by that psi magnet De recovering a little bit of a uh, percent but not enough it's still very dangerous for debo there and now even more than uh, the diamond weapons are ready so i really like that side magnet he did at the edge completely got past the tnt trap and he hit yeah. steve at the same time i think he did like 20 plus percent at the ledge so that was actually really smart from debo oh Tech Chase situation has the stage before as well. D Dog looking a little bit lost here to get in, and wow, Devo just continuing to hit him over and over at the stage. He cannot come back at all. That's a solid two stock from Devo. He actually yeah, didn't really lose control of the <laughs> the stage for a solid like 20, 20 seconds. Just kept hitting him off stage over and over. Really Basically, good. the the foresight and the the recognition of the recovery patterns of well, not only Steve but D Dog himself, like what options he was covering or at least pretending to cover in order to catch him effectively at every single turning point when he tried to go for the uh, elytra recovery, when he tried to go for the low recovery on the ledge, he was ready with a yo yo. It was an insane recognition from Debo there. Uh, very well deserved, um, inc incredibly deserved first game on his side of the scoreboard 
we are again even on this game number three it's all going to boil down to again adaptation because we have no counter picks we have no character swaps it's all about the players and the competitors ability to adapt improvise and and basically add all this information into the following games in order to bring them back and to make changes to the play style definitely and we've already seen it in the two games we've seen so far both players have already changed up their strategy and gone back and forth with each other so this is really a competitive match you can see already i really want to see what ddog's going to do here to change it up to take this game for sure so far maybe... though very even he's got to watch his my car usage though uh, he has been able to get it sometimes to hit uh, Debo, but when he's doing it preemptively, Debo tend to hit him out of it before he gets hit himself. Yeah, it seems to that at some point he's actually prepared for those now. Like he's not falling for them. He's actually waiting out for the for the jump of the card and ready to punish uh, eventually. And D-Dog now that has diamond weapons again, he's going to be an even bigger threat because every single interaction is going to be lethal. If he manages to connect with one of his weapons, he of course he's going for the anvil. He's going for the card punishes. And even though it conditions his opponent, it's still not enough. He needs something and he needs to be careful because if he gets grabbed or or back thrown it's gonna be a dead stock and burn just like that with the back there like instead Debo doing a phenomenal job at keeping the lead there perfect perfect it's a really good trade for him but nice i like that timing on the fair i uh, caught Debo jumping to try to punish him out of the minecart very very good timing from d dog even if it was the wooden uh where they're still strong enough to kill but a lot of pressure here, doesn't get the jab lock, but still gets the grab. I love that force smash. He hasn't got to hit Steve just yet, but he knows how to time it just to hit the minecart. And that DI on back there wasn't very great. Devo looking on a zero to death, possibly? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness, <laughs> another one. Yeah, he's ready for every single interaction, every single option. And we know that Ness is really good at covering those. His frame data, his aerial mobility is just insane. And also his lingering hitboxes, which is something that not a lot of people are ready for. That Nair hitting with the back of it, it almost getting the stock, is ridiculous. How strong Ness can be at high percentages and how dangerous, it's something that definitely puts a stress on your mindset. And maybe in flux, in, 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 it makes a, a difference whether you're going to make the right option or not however this string beautiful there from the stone weapons from d dog almost bringing him all the way to the other side of the stage with minimal percent however Devo is ready for retaliation and the percentage is slowly climbing up on his opponent's side yeah he's uh still has the leader so any type of trade situation he gets is just good for him but d dog's not trying to let it happen oh my goodness the absorb he just knows that timing so well Oh, but he's not paying attention to that anvil. Another anvil stock coming in there for D-Dog. Maybe d is just getting a little bit too aggressive on his uh, landing traps here. Getting caught up, and that's a lot of percent. Already 50 plus almost. Just for one Steve string, but off stage yet again. Can he change up the time his recovery? That yo-yo's very threatening. Can't get off the stage with that. You have to get up attack that yo-yo if he's charging that. Otherwise, you're just going to get beat up. I think it covers every yeah. option. Other than uh, get up attack. It's weird because, uh, like, I, I think, well, I, I would hope at least that this is, like, common knowledge. Whenever Ness has you against, if, if you don't get two-framed or interrupted, your instant option should be get-up attack. Because Ness's end lag on that down smash is, is a lot. So it's very easy to punish with get-up attack. Not a lot of people rely to or resort to it for some reason. I don't know if it's uh, like out of pressure situation. But again, Ness here, uh, Debo doing a phenomenal job at keeping the pressure off stage. Picking every single option right. And again, pu putting himself on the lead with only one game left for him to get this set done. d Dog definitely needs to step it up. Needs to make some changes because even though his strengths are insane and good pressure there, it's still not enough because when it matters the most, it is Debo who takes the last shot in that trigger pull. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what I mentioned earlier. Uh Fighting on the stage is all right, it can go even, but where d is really going to shine is when it comes to these edge guards, and he's just yeah. been capitalizing heavily. So I really want to see if d can reverse that and really get some edge guards of his own on Ness, instead of just continuing to play well on the stage, which which he is doing. Like, he's just fighting Ness and boxing really well. Once he gets thin off stage, he just struggles a lot. 
Yeah, it's when we start, when, when he gets to, uh, when he starts to suffocate a little bit. And it's understandable, that's the second time it happens. D-Doc getting the kill, or at least the, the animation for the kill, the particles, but the block is standing in its way. It's yeah. basically stealing uh, the stock on his own, like, like blocking him. It's so unfortunate because yeah. he's been getting those consistently. However, he's just as consistently blocking himself from getting those beautiful stocks. Yeah, it's really unfortunate because Dio gets a second chance of life and usually he takes full advantage of it, but d Dog getting the first stock this time. Be careful. Yeah, that can break shield if you're not careful, so good on him for getting out. And doing 59%. Wow. Steve's damage output will never not surprise me. It's insane. Oh my goodness. Almost down to the gold. The setup, the block into the anvil actually covered so much of where Ness could recover to the stage. That was actually such good positioning for d Dog and... Man, if Debo wants to bring this back, I will be amazed if he can, because this is huge lead for Steve, and uh, d Dog is still going. Yeah, well, what do you do when you have three blocks basically stopping you from moving or going anywhere? Really, it's just a beautiful job there from d Dog, forcing a situation where Debo can no longer pick a safe option and gets a good punish in return. And just as you mentioned, taking advantage of these, uh, this lead that he has and the tools that he's also um, uh, like abusing, basically. He has Diamond. He he did a phenomenal job with gold weapons uh, because of their frame data and, and just the the percent racking up it's ridiculous now now the blogs are saving d -Dog. now they're working as intended working as a lifeline basically but that yo-yo is definitely going to be it it's still doable however devo has a real real steep climb uh, up ahead of himself but it's definitely doable That's with combo. the frame data yep yeah it's actually crazy how well devo is able to bring this back Despite of how huge our deficit, deficit he was at, definitely still able to win this game. That's crazy how it sounds. So if I'm D-Dog, I would definitely try to take this stock as safely as possible. Don't give Evo any opportunity to make a comeback. Going for the PK Rocket. No punish spare either. Oh, in the air. He's not going to commit to an air dodge. Very smart for Debo, keeping this stock alive at 150% almost. The PK Fire stopping the minecart. Oh my goodness, Debo is not making this easy whatsoever. D Dark. Yeah. He really has to turn this up right now. Back airs him out of the forward smash. Oh my goodness, still Ooh. living. He has a diamond here. He should try to go for it, but he doesn't need it. There's the raw minecart right in his face. I think he had the armored one as well, so that was actually just very safe and difficult to react to that close. But uh, yeah, wow, that totally. was crazy. Even though he, he had the right the tools. Back. Yeah, exactly. No, Debo was um, perfectly within within reach and possibilities of bringing it back. He was actually really close with the percentage. He almost gets the the reverse uh, edge guard really there smart. with those back airs. But instead of d Dog using his tools just as effectively, bringing us to game number five, they're going straight back into it. There's no backseas, no hesitation. We're not swapping any stages. We are going straight at it. And I I think the adaptation that these competitors are bringing is insane. It's it's all a matter of mentality. D Dog has been insanely good uh, when it comes to neutral, but it is Debo who has been the most prominent when it comes to edge guarding and keeping the pressure off stage. It's ridiculous, but it depends really. Um, it, it basically depends on how well you can do off stage. Who is going to get oh, he these, it. these set? Yeah. I know you have a lot of time to react to Perry, but it's just, that looks so cool because that move is so strong. It's still risky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't you don't want to risk missing mis inputting the, the parry on a PK rocket. It's just free damage and it can lead to nasty situations. However, the wooden tools here are going to oh, make some God's work and the percentage rise insanely fast. Let's just hope that he doesn't get a better weapon. But he does just as I say, he gets stoned. So his kill his kill opportunities and capabilities might increase dramatically. I'll say real quick, it's been such a long time since I've seen uh, D Doc play in MSM top eight but he's definitely gotten so much better since last time i watched him play so very impressive but that air timing every time devo is yep. so ready for that up b straight into the stage he either gets a trade or just beats him out cleanly so so good for him oh here's the juggle here too yep he plays around the anvil this time but not able to continue the damage all right d-dog taking a little bit of time to get some materials 
Okay, hiding behind the crafting table as well. Got some blocks in place too. That my card not too hard to avoid, but I think he's just trying to really pick his opening wisely, not really try to force the kill while also getting materials he wants. But that up smash, nowhere near hitting. Okay, D Devo? No, yeah, Devo did uh, time his mash very well, so it wouldn't be easy for him to get up smash or forward air. That was actually really good. It's coming. The diamond is coming. He finally manages to craft the weapon, the killing weapon, the lethal uh, option that he gets. Good confirmed there with nice. the cart. And the diamond pickaxe is going to be it just enough to get the kill, even though his percentage is pretty high up, in my opinion. Debo could definitely capitalize from it and put a lot of pressure. If D Dog is not careful enough, he needs to respect Ness's options because it's insanely fast. And diamond is not the fastest of the weapon so it's a little hard we've seen this before uh d -Dog struggling a little to contest those hitboxes that ness has especially in the air it can be a little tricky and just like that he finds himself caught in that forward air once again it's becoming increasingly harder for d -Dog, but he does have a spare diamond so he might be able to bring another one of these lethal weapons back up immediately Unfortunate. Not the best deal on that back throw. It, he definitely had a chance with the diamond. It, it can kill so early at the edge. I saw him fishing for the forward smash with the diamond, but Devo is just not falling for it right now. He still got it, though. Okay. To the Ooh. up smash. Nice confirm. Good percent. Not to kill just yet. Wow, nice punish, though. It's not that easy to punch that out of shield. Not going to die to the back air either. Oh, man. Devo has some really good DI right now, but there's another forward air from, with the diamond. Okay, yep, he gets the forward air out of shield. Every time he hits the shield with that diamond F smash, he's just ready to punish. Actually, very good. Okay. He needs to get the stock immediately, even though the percentage is really high. Good test there, we can see it. Yes, yep. thank you, Vance. Uh, but the nice. mining pickaxe, once again, doing its work, almost 70%. It's something that we've seen before. The d Dog needs to get those strings, but Diamond makes it a little harder because the knockback makes it a little bit, uh, makes the, the, the basically the burn butters of Steve a little harder to confirm, but it's just racking up percentage really, really fast. He just needs a good read. A good confirm in order to get her to get it. Maybe another nice. pickaxe there. Uh, backers are being extremely effective, and he just needs to connect. Going for the hard read, unable oh. to catch him, but the cart goes all the way down. Is he going to oh. come up? Anvil missing just by a little bit, but oh another goodness. cart comes up. D Dog has no materials. He just spent oh. his last card, and the PK fire is going to put extra pressure. He's going back to get some resources, and if he doesn't get the kill confirmed here, it's anyone's game. Whoever gets the oh. right read is going to get it in this next couple interactions. That's the diamond backer. Okay, he's barely living. Oh my goodness, they're both at 120%. Dom's to the wire. He's had this diamond for so long. And there's the backer with punish. Oh my god, Devo. Devo hanging on for the skin of his teeth, fighting for his entire life. He just barely, 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 barely was able to sneak in the back. And that was insane pressure from D Dog at the end. That was insane. I don't know how Devo was able to keep his composure long enough to bring it uh, to that game five win. But. Amazing stuff to Devo and uh, D-Dog. That was an insane game five set from both players.